Hi everybody, my name is Jessa Marie Astrid and you are watching my YouTube channel. As you can see for today's look, I transformed myself into the iconic, creepy Annabelle doll from The Conjuring. I thought this look would be perfect for Halloween. If you want to know how to get this look and how I transform myself, then just keep watching. So to start off the look, I'm going to be blocking out my eyebrows using a glue stick. Annabelle has very thin, high arched eyebrows, so I'm going to be drawing them on. After coating my eyebrow hairs in the glue stick and laying them down with a little spoolie, I'm taking the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm packing that on top. Then afterwards, I'm brushing off the powder and applying this orange color corrector by LA Girl Cosmetics. This is going to help cancel out the bluish undertone from my eyebrows underneath the concealer. After that, I'm moving on to the foundation. For today's foundation, I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation and I'm mixing a little bit of the LA Girl Cosmetics White Pigment. This is just to lighten the foundation a little bit. And I am blending this all in using a beauty blender. Next, I'm taking this brown shade in my paint palette and I'm going to be sketching out all of the lines that I'm going to be drawing on. Annabelle has a lot of strong features, so we're going to be creating a lot of shadows and depth with the makeup. She has hollow eyes, so I'm doing half circles around my eyes and then I'm drawing the brown lines on my smile lines and around my mouth. And this part does not have to be perfect because we are going to be blending black on top of it, but you do want to make it proportionate to your own smile lines so that it fits your face the best. After I sketch out the brown lines, I'm taking a small little pencil brush and I'm blending out the brown a little bit. For the smile lines, I'm blending up and for around the mouth, I'm blending down. For the eyes, we want to make them seem hollow, so I'm blending out the brown towards the center of the circle. After I have all the lines blended out to how I like them, I'm just going back in with the brown with that pencil brush, and I'm just adding a little bit more coloring. I'm also blending some brown on my jawline, and I'm also contouring my nose. After I have all those lines blended out to how I like, I'm setting them using the Cody Airspun powder that I used to block out my eyebrows. This is just so the paint doesn't move around when I blend colors on top of it. After that is all set, I'm going back in with the brown and I'm layering that on top of the brown again. This is just to add some more coloring because it did get a little bit lighter after I set it. I'm picking up some black paint and we are going to be layering that on top of the brown. This you want to focus on the very edges of where you blended it out. This is going to create that illusion that it is hollow. Now for the eyebrows. I'm moving my hair out of the way so I can see what I'm doing and so I don't get black paint on them. And then I'm just mapping out where I want the brows to start and end with the brown. And then I'm going back on top of that with the black. 
Annabelle has very pointy, high arched brows, so you want to try to make them as even as possible. Now for her rosy cheeks, I'm taking this Bahamas Blush Palette by Stelazzi on this big round fluffy brush and I am packing this on the center of my cheeks. If you added too much product or you want to blend it out a little bit more, you can use your beauty blender with some of the excess foundation that we used from earlier. Next I'm picking up this black shade in this palette that I'm holding upside down and I'm placing this all on the black paint that we used before. This is going to help darken and mattify all of the shading, which is going to help with the illusion of the depth. Since we added all of this shading and depth, now we have to add some light. So I'm taking this white shade in the palette and I'm placing this as my highlighter on the opposite sides of where we shaded. This is also going to add to the illusion. I'm also adding some of the white on the tops of my cheeks to make myself look a little bit shiny. Now for her big creepy eyes, I'm taking this Suva Beauty Hydra Liner in the shade Space Panda and I'm drawing a little half circle under my eye. Then I'm going in with some blue and black to draw the rest of the eyeball. After that, I'm drawing her little lashes on the corners of her eyes with that black paint and a little liner brush. And for my lips, I'm using this red liquid lipstick by Suva Beauty. Then I'm blending some black paint on the perimeter of my lips just to make them a little bit darker. Then I picked up some of the red paint in my palette and I put that on top just to make them a little bit brighter and to match my bows better. And I'm adding a little bit of white on top of the lips to make them look shiny. Now for this next step, you can go ahead and skip what I'm doing right here. I was just going to leave it with the half circles under my eyes, but I don't have any contacts so it didn't look very good. So just don't apply any lashes yet and just follow along until I finish off the eyes. I'm adding a little bit of black eyeshadow on the hollows of my cheekbones just to contour a little bit and then I'm moving on to the neck. This is the same thing we did with the eyes and the rest of the face. I'm using the brown to start to sketch out the hollowness and then I'm going back on top of that with the black. And after I finish using the black I'm going in with the white paint and making a little highlighter underneath the black. Now the makeup is looking pretty good so far, there's just one problem, we are too clean and neat. Annabelle is a very dirty doll, so I'm adding some blood and some brown paint, and I'm just making little marks around my face and neck to make myself a little bit more worn. Now I'm going to finish off the eyes. So I'm just taking a little q-tip and wiping off some of the black on my eyelid. And I'm drawing the same thing that we did on the lower half of the eyeball. So I'm doing the half circle with the white and then using black and blue for the rest of the eyeball. Next I'm taking some black eyeliner and I'm just drawing the rest of her lashes on the top and just putting a little bit of the black on top of the black eyeshadow we put down just to make it a little bit darker. Then for the jawline and my cheeks I'm adding some more black eyeshadow just to add a little bit more depth. And that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you want to watch more of these transformation type videos. Happy Halloween. I love you guys and I will see you very soon.